Embarking on the monumental journey to Mars, humanity stands at the crossroads of an extraordinary adventure, beckoned by the mysteries of the red planet and driven by an intrinsic yearning for exploration. In this cosmic odyssey, two prominent protagonists emerge on the celestial stage, each wielding a unique approach NASA, the venerable space agency with a legacy etched in the annals of space exploration, and SpaceX, the audacious private enterprise led by the visionary Elon Musk. As we teeter on the brink of interplanetary travel, the central question looms large, how will we reach Mars? The divergent pathways charted by NASA and SpaceX unfurl as captivating narratives, each contributing to the unfolding cosmic tapestry in its own distinct way. At the forefront of the traditional approach stands NASA, an institution that has long been synonymous with humanity's exploration of the cosmos. The Artemis program, initially appearing as a lunar-focused initiative, reveals itself to be a strategic maneuver. Establishing a sustainable human presence on the Moon is not a mere rehash of past lunar missions. Rather, it is a calculated move to leverage the Moon's lower gravity and lack of a dense atmosphere as a launch pad for interplanetary voyages. The Moon, once again, becomes a celestial gateway propelling us toward the deeper reaches of our solar system. The Artemis missions from 4 to 10 delve into the intricacies of lunar survival, emphasizing in situ resource utilization, extracting water and oxygen from the lunar environment, constructing infrastructure, and creating a sustainable habitat become paramount endeavors. Concurrently, NASA expands its robotic presence on Mars, introducing innovative technologies such as the Ingenuity drone, which has successfully demonstrated powered flight in Mars' thin atmosphere. This marks a paradigm shift in exploration, opening up new possibilities for aerial reconnaissance and sample collection on the Red Planet. Taking center stage in NASA's grand design is the Lunar Gateway Space Station, a visionary outpost orbiting the Moon. Far from being a mere way station, the Gateway is conceived as a launch pad for missions to Mars. While NASA establishes a human foothold on the Moon and in cislunar space, it simultaneously lays the groundwork for future Martian exploration. Collaborating with international space agencies from Europe, Japan, India, and Canada, NASA exemplifies an inclusive approach, showcasing the power of global collaboration in the face of cosmic challenges. In stark contrast, SpaceX, under the enigmatic leadership of Elon Musk, presents an alternative narrative. Unlike NASA's meticulously planned lunar endeavors, SpaceX's vision of Mars colonization is shrouded in audacity. Musk's proclamation to build a city of one million people on Mars encapsulates the pioneering spirit of the private aerospace company. While specifics of the colonization plan remain elusive, SpaceX brandishes a formidable asset the Starship, envisioned as the largest and most powerful rocket ever conceived. The Starship, with its remarkable capabilities, becomes SpaceX's trump card, Manufactured at the SpaceX Starbase factory, this colossal spacecraft stands as a testament to the private sector's potential to revolutionize space travel. The partnership between NASA and SpaceX takes tangible form in low Earth orbit, where SpaceX stands as the sole provider of American crewed space flights. The Starship, with its potential for interplanetary travel, becomes a focal point for collaboration, bridging the gap between government agencies and private enterprises. However, Challenges persist on both fronts. NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, initially envisioned as an interplanetary transport system, faces setbacks, limiting its role to servicing Artemis moon missions. Conversely, SpaceX lacks a detailed blueprint for Mars colonization beyond Musk's visionary proclamations. The intricate interplay between NASA's meticulous planning and SpaceX's innovative technology sets the stage for a complex yet symbiotic relationship in the pursuit of Mars. As the Artemis program progresses, a potential convergence of NASA's lunar expertise and SpaceX's interstellar aspirations becomes tantalizingly apparent. The Artemis missions, designed to validate and expand human capabilities on the Moon, may serve as a precursor to a collaborative future, where the Starship plays a pivotal role in lunar landings. This potential synergy between government and private endeavors marks a paradigm shift in the cosmic narrative, where shared aspirations transcend institutional boundaries. The envisioned Mars mission, with its meticulous choreography, intensifies the cosmic drama. 
Preliminary Supply Drops, scheduled for Artemis 10 and 11, precede human arrivals, strategically positioning essential resources on the lunar surface. The Mars cargo stages, mysterious payloads launched during these missions, add an air of intrigue, potentially resembling fully equipped starships primed for Mars landings. Artemis 12 emerges as a mission of paramount significance, marking the delivery of the Mars one human lander and transit hab ship to the Gateway Station. This lunar outpost, strategically positioned, becomes the cosmic launch pad for the crewed mission to Mars. The proposed two-vehicle system introduces redundancy, ensuring the safety of astronauts. Two crew members descend to the Martian surface in a pressurized vehicle, doubling as a habitation module and rover, while two remain in Martian orbit aboard a second starship. This innovative strategy addresses the physiological challenges of transitioning from the weightlessness of space to Mars-reduced gravity over the 30-day surface mission. The ambitious timeline for a crewed mission to Mars involves overcoming several challenges. The habitation module, serving as both a rover and living space, allows for immediate exploration upon arrival. Landing on Mars, however, poses a significant challenge. The excess momentum of the Starship requires careful navigation to execute a safe landing. The spacecraft must employ aerodynamic drag and a landing burn to counteract its momentum, a process likened to a controlled freefall towards the Martian surface. Two distinct mission profiles for Mars trips, short and long stays, offer different transit durations and logistical considerations. The short stay mission, lasting 650 days, includes 2,117 days of outbound and 43 days of return in deep space. The long stay mission, spanning 916 days, features a 210-day outbound period, a 496-day stay on Mars, and a 210-day return window. While these plans are based on current technology, ongoing developments hint at potential game-changers, NASA and DARPAA's collaboration on the demonstration rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations, Draco, introduces the concept of a nuclear thermal rocket engine. Expected to be operational in less than five years, Draco could significantly reduce transit times to Mars, with the possibility of a crewed mission lasting as little as 45 days. The journey to Mars unfolds as an epic saga, weaving together the threads of tradition and innovation public institutions, and private enterprises. It represents a shared quest transcending individual aspirations and national boundaries, echoing the collaborative spirit that defines humanity's finest moments. The collaborative efforts of NASA and SpaceX embody the fusion of tradition and innovation, resonating as a harmonious melody through the cosmos. As the celestial curtain rises on this cosmic drama, the dream of setting foot on the red planet becomes a shared endeavor a testament to the resilience, ingenuity, and boundless curiosity that define us as a species. The cosmic ballet continues, and humanity, driven by an irrepressible spirit, marches steadfastly towards the Martian horizon.